YouTube, you know who it is. Chris Jones, represent for Zisa Greatness. And if you follow me on Facebook, you already know I'm about to go ahead to Metro Flex and meet up with Kelly Burke, just like I promised on my last leg workout. Today happens to be Friday, in case you happen to give a fuck, you know what I mean? People like to ask what day of the week this is and all that shit. But anyway, all right, now I'm packing my bag, get my post-workout shake ready, get my intra workout ready, all that shit, pre-workout snack. I really don't have time to show you. I'm actually running late because I, I got to get gas and all kinds of shit. But pretty much, you already know what I'm doing. Scoop away some coffee, you know what I'm saying? A little whey protein from Mark. You know what's up. 5% link in the description if you happen to give a fuck all that good shit. I'll see y'all at the gym. Alright, alright, alright. I don't know if y'all can see that shit. You know what I mean? Let me zoom in on this bitch. Yeah, Metro Flex. Yeah, we over here at Metro Flex, guys. Um, if you want to tour this place, I got a video right here. I took a tour of this place a while back. If you just happen to give a fuck, you want to see how this place looks from the inside out, go ahead and click that video right there. But anyway, let's get started. All right, homies and homets. So first and foremost, we started off with some chest flies to warm up in pre-exhausted chest fibers. Now a lot of people are gonna say pre-exhaustion is not necessary, even though bodybuilders have been doing it for years, but I found it quite funny that the same people that hate on pre-exhaustion techniques be the same people that wanna wrap their arms up in the gym, calling it occlusion training. So at the end of the day, I disregard all naysayers, and I do what the fuck I want to do. I do what the fuck is working for me, you feel me? So we did the pre-exhaustion, and we started off with some incline benches. We decided to go ahead and pyramid it. If you don't know what a pyramid means, pyramid pretty much means you just add weight to the bar every set, and you do as many as you can do. We pretty much didn't count reps. We just started off with like a 45 and a quarter, repped it out, added like uh, add, put two plates on the bar, ripped it out. Put two plates and a ten on the bar, ripped it out. Put two plates and two tens on the bar and ripped it out. You know what I mean? We didn't record every set because keep in mind we're actually trying to work out as well. But we recorded enough sets so you to pretty much get the idea of how we train. Now I'm not gonna talk throughout the whole workout, but you will hear my voice, you know, here and there to try to explain what the fuck is going on. So be sure to enjoy the workout and be sure to comment below. Let me know what you think. Woo! Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I know that diet, man. <laughs> Chris Jones, can't be fitness disclaimer. <laughs> I am depleted, so this strict is gone. So don't talk about me if I'm struggling. <laughs> Three weeks out, baby. <laughs> the ball feel heavy right there. Three weeks out, baby. First place. First place. One. Two. Three. Come on. Hit it. Let's go! There you go. Good. Oh, you. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. Down. Oh. Oh. Shit. Good. Oh. Yeah. 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 Come on, come on! Come on! Nothing but a peanut, baby! Yeah, baby! Everybody wanna be a bodybuilder, but nobody wanna lift this heavy and wait! Wait! Let's get it!
Kill it, baby, kill it. Go. Hit it. Easy. There you go. Come on. Come on. You got it, Big Kev? There you go, Kelly. Come on. First place. Come on, Kelly. Let's get it, Kelly. Side chest. Oh, yeah. Get up on the chest. Oh, yeah. You ready, man? Oh, yeah, baby. You ready? Try to get ready, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. You look lame as a mother. <laughs> All right, so after we pyramided on the incline bench, we decided to jump it off with some flat bench, all right? Now, we didn't record every set like I said, but we pretty much did reps on this bitch. We did four sets of eight to 12. I did like two plates for a couple of sets, and then I did two plates, a 10 and a five for a couple of sets. Keep in mind, Kelly and Rom, they're dieting, you know what I mean? And they are not as strong as they usually are. But take my word for it, these guys were fucking killing it, man. Especially Rom. He took every set to complete failure. You're going to see, like, Kelly spotting him here and there. He was not fucking around, you know what I mean? Really good motivation. I love working out with guys bigger than me. It really pushes me, man. And then after we did the bench press for the flat bench, we decided to go ahead and burn out with chest presses, you know what I mean? Usually I'll either do some dips or I'll do a machine like this to really finish off my major pecs, you know what I mean? We pushed each set to failure, you know? And let me tell you, that shit's a fucking burn. It feels real good to be able to stretch and squeeze your pecs without having to worry about balancing the weight and all that shit. You know, you can really lean back and just squeeze the fibers of the pecs. This is bodybuilding, not powerlifting. I can care less about performance. I'm all about stimulating my muscles, man. Speaking of stimulating muscles, we finished off chest with some cable crossovers. Kept the reps pretty high, about 12 to 15 reps a set. As you see, Kelly's pretty fucking lean. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. There you go. After we did the uh, cable crossover, we went ahead and jumped it off with some incline dumbbell flies. One of my favorite exercises to really bring in the upper pecs, man. Really stretch them, really squeeze them, really contract them. So after we finished working our chest, we decided to go ahead and finish off with some bicep work. First thing we did was some hammer grip 21s. If you don't know what 21s is, just watch the video. It's very simple. You start off going uh, all the way down, halfway up for seven. Then you start halfway and go all the way up for seven. And then you do seven full reps, which makes 21 reps in all. And let me tell you this right here. This shit burns like fuck. A lot of people are going to say, especially the science people, they be saying, oh, you don't going to do them. They're bro curls. They're not optimal. But they be the same people wrapping their shit up in the gym trying to get some big ass arms. I found it very funny that the people with the big arms train like this. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. So what the fuck you gonna do besides sitting on the couch talking shit? <laughs> uh, oh, baby! Yeah. So, I'm your daddy! 
And this right here is the last exercise of the day. We finished off with some preacher curls to really bring in the short head. As you see, we did hammer strength for the long head and we did preacher curls for the short head. Four sets, we pretty much went to failure doing as many as we can do till we couldn't do any more. And that's all folks, hope you enjoyed the workout. Man, that was 81 right there, we needed that man. That was intense. Oh yeah. Very intense. Make me want to go. Good, man. Make me want to do a show, man. Make me want to go make another train again. Man. We gotta get us some post workout meals of that, man. Be looking out for my boy Steve to get a video soon. Look at him, man. Oh, I'm about to like drive that. with the shirt off. <laughs> Be looking out for him in a video as well. But anyway, man, it's time to go eat. Stay tuned. Oh yeah. We up here at IHI, brother. Let's get it. Yes, sir. All right, homies and homies, it's post-workout meal time, all right? We over here at IHOP. Let me show you what we're working with. We got the same thing, guys. We're keeping it clean, trying to keep it lean. My boy Kelly, three weeks out, got two tilapia fillets, mashed potatoes, and some of the spinach on the bottom. And I should have told him to take all that freaking salt off of that. I know, huh? That's going to blow me up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to wake up swollen. Got the saw, got the little thinning sauteed yeah, in the bottom. Same thing over here, guys. Got two uh, tilapia fillets, mashed potatoes for carbs, and some good spinach from Leafy Greens. Got water, no aspartame me today. You hippies won today. <laughs> Only reason why I didn't go with the teeth is because keep in mind, Metroflex doesn't have any air conditioning. We were drained, depleted, you know what I'm saying, dehydrated, so we need some water. Anyway, guys, don't forget, you know, so I hope y'all like the workout video. We plan on going back soon. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, we can run into Branch and uh, Johnny yes, and get some, get some clips of them, you know what I'm saying? And uh, what I'm going to say, oh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my boy Kelly. Yes, sir. Shop them teas. He got baby. new teas out, nothing but a peanut. Yes, sir. Go <laughs> I wonder what Ronnie would say if he ran into you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute now. Hey, hey, wait a minute now. <laughs> that sounds familiar. <laughs> Anyway, guys, don't forget to like my shit, <laughs> comment, subscribe, holler back at your boy.